Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally, even OnePlus 11R have started getting the stable build of Oxygen OS 15. So here you can see I have my OnePlus 11R. I have already updated the device to the latest build. If I go to about section, here you can see OnePlus 11R, which is running Oxygen OS 15. And I was not a part of closed beta program guys, because I wasn't having OnePlus 11R. If you go to software update section, you can see the version is 15.0.0.300, which comes with 5th December 2024 security patch. And guys, few users have started receiving OTA update but if you guys are the one who haven't received the OTA update and you guys want to update your device right away and I've also seen many users still complaining that even OnePlus 11 haven't received the Oxygen OS 15 stable builds. So guys if you are not receiving an OTA update you can download the file. I'll provide the links in the description below just download the file. For both the devices I'll give you the links one for OnePlus 11R and for OnePlus 11 but only for the Indian units. If you have a unit from other country avoid installing it. So once you download the file just place it inside the internal storage as you can see here we have the full zip file which is of 6.23 gb once you download it just go to about section tap on these three dots and select local install from here you can select the file and complete the installation process a lot of users have been asking video about oneplus 11r so for you guys we have got this device for 25k which is a second hand oneplus 11r so it's a request if you guys find our content useful to you guys then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel so on both units which is oneplus 11r and oneplus 11 oneplus haven't ignored the ai features uh, let me just show you the change logs so if i go to about section we do have the battery animation which includes parallel processing and we also have the AI features under AI companion. We'll cover each and every change in this video so that OnePlus 11 are users who are new to Oxygen OS 15, they get to know everything about Android 15. First, let's start with the AI features itself. So the AI features have also been added in the gallery application. So if I select any photo, tap on edit, you can see towards the left hand side, we have a feature called AI editor, which includes things like AI detail boost, AI eraser, AI unblur and AI reflection eraser. Starting off with this photo, which has some reflection in this. So we'll use the feature called AI reflection eraser. Eraser. Tapping on AI Reflection Eraser, if you're doing it for the first time, you just need to agree terms and conditions and you can also see a preview how it'll work. Tapping on OK, so here you can see the process have completed and if I tap on Compare, you can see a huge difference. The entire reflection have been removed from the picture. AI have also removed the navigation bar which it thought may be in reflection. So it won't be 100% accurate but in most of the scenarios, you can find it very useful. Then the next feature is AI Detail Boost. So here you can see we have an image which I clicked from OnePlus 11R itself and the details are not that sharp. So let's try boosting the details of this particular image. And if I tap on compare, you can see slight boost in the details. So this is how AI detail boost work. Under AI eraser, I don't think so. I need to cover all these things because these things we have already covered. And I think these things were already available on Oxygen OS 14, which is removing people from the photos using paint over tool or smart lasso. Then we have last feature under AI editor and that's AI unblur. So here we have an image which is slightly blurred. Now AI have analyzed and it has removed blur from that particular image. So if I tap on compare, you can see this is how the image used to look before and this is how it's after using the AI unblur feature. So very useful AI features here in photos application. But sadly on OnePlus 11R, they haven't added the circle to search feature. So if I go to system navigation and scroll down, so you can see we don't have any option of circle to search. But on OnePlus 11R, they have given the option of circle to search. You can see towards the bottom side, we have circle to search feature and it works just by long pressing on the navigation bar. There you can see, but this feature is not present on OnePlus 11R. I hope OnePlus do adds with upcoming updates. Now talking about other AI features and that can be found in the smart sidebar. So let me just open up our website first. So here on the screen, if I have any text later on, I open the smart sidebar. We get these two new features. One is AI summary and the second one is AI speak. So let me open up this article first. After opening up the smart sidebar, I'll tap on AI summary. So here AI will analyze the content present on the screen. Now AI have analyzed and you can see we have a summary of that particular article. So this feature can also come in handy when you're running short of time. After that, you have option to regenerate, copy the summary, share and save it to note. You can also give a feedback by tapping on thumbs up and thumbs down icon. Then the next feature is AI speak. So here again, AI will analyze the screen and you know, it will start reading the article for you. Here we do have two voices, which you can select between male or female. And if I increase the volume and show you guys. One plus 13 are smartphones and a new color variant for the OnePlus Buds 3 Pro. So this is how AI speak works and you have the other options like to increase the speed. And if you scroll on the text, you can also see the progress bar, like how much percent article have been covered. 
and after that there's another ai feature which have been added for example if you have any mail open or any messaging app you just open this smart sidebar and you get a new option called ai reply so here you can see i have a message on the screen which says hello what's going on what are the plans of new app so now i open this smart sidebar tap on ai reply and now we'll have few replies based on the content present on the screen so here you can see ai have provided three messages and here also you have options to choose from formal polite sincere humorous casual etc you can also enter your key points and later on choose a reply style between same things like formal polite sincere etc it's not like you have to completely be dependent on ai messages you can also add your custom message and change the style later on and the other ai features can also be found in the notes application so for example if you have any notes present in the notes application tapping on this icon you have the ai assistant for notes and other thing in the notes application only you can open the smart sidebar and here we have an option called ai writer where you can give the points and later on ai will write the content for you and you also have options to check for example i'll write a message which is grammatically wrong and if i tap on check now and you can see ai have fixed the grammar here so this ai feature can also be used which is ai writer and now let's talk about the ai assistant for notes so basically what it does you have the options to write those particular notes in a proper format you can also get the cleaner version of that polished version if you want you can elaborate that same content or even shorten it let's take an example of shortening the entire article tapping on shorten and here you can see it says generating now and there we go you can see this was the content present in the notes application and here we have the shortened version of content later on you also have options like try again refine copy insert or replace and the last ai feature can be found in the recording application so here we have a recording and towards the left hand side if you see there's an option of summary tapping on it you get the option to choose the language i recommend you guys to keep it on auto and then tap on start you can see it says generating in the live capsule and towards the left hand side also it says generating this summary will be saved in the notes application and here you can see the summary of that audio recording and later on you also have the option of audio transcript where you can get the text version of that entire audio and later on if you want you can save it to notes application so guys these are all the ai features what you will see on oneplus 11r other than circle to search feature rest almost everything is available now let's talk about other changes so first let's cover the customization part so now yes even on oneplus 11r you'll get the options to customize your lock screen by going to wallpapers and style section you cannot customize the lock screen directly from the lock screen itself you have to go to wallpapers and style section you can see we have the flux theme support on the main page you'll have some previews but if you want to check out more themes just tap on more themes and here you can find all the themes which oneplus have added which includes pulse healing moment light and shadows composition etc so for example let's take it from healing moment so here i'll add a custom image of a pet and we'll show you guys how it looks and what all customization options you guys get to see so let's add this image and you'll also notice one thing depending on the image color the background color also gets changed if you want the depth effect you can enable it from here and if you don't want you can keep it disabled but with the depth effect it looks too good and in the styling we do have options to add the blur effect and there are also few glass patterns present after that you also have the option to change the background color manually along with that there are few photo frames which you can choose from for the clock you do have some clock fonts present and you can change the text width along with that you can add information like weather or step counter it's not like you cannot change the color of the clock that can also be done from here now let me show you another example so let's take this photo and here let's choose a custom photo i'll choose this photo which is one of my favorite and guys if you're looking for such wallpapers we have made a dedicated video on few of my favorite wallpapers which i use on my oneplus smartphone do check out that video link can be found in the description below so here also you can see the text have adapted to the color based on the wallpaper and it gets properly highlighted but still if you want to change the color of that text you can do that you also have some word art styles which you can choose from and depth effect can be turned on or off but we don't get the support to add custom text i hope in future oneplus gives us an option to add custom fonts also i mean the custom text and now let me show you how does it look on the lock screen so here you can see the transition whenever i lock the device and if i double press to unlock you can see the transition they are super smooth i don't see any kind of frame drops or lags while waking up the screen or while turning off the screen and i recommend you to use the seamless always on display instead of the classic one other than that in customizations we did not get any kind of new add-ons it's similar stuff what we have seen on the previous build there's only one new fingerprint animation what oneplus have added and that's the halo effect and you can see this is how it looks see it's nice to see that oneplus haven't cut down the animation part even on oneplus 11r both oneplus 11 and 
11R gets the support of advanced graphic engine with parallel drawing technology, which ensures every visuals, whether you are switching apps or pushing the device to its limit, feels fluid and stutter free. The smoothness isn't just for system apps, but extends to widgets, folders, and even third party applications like Instagram or web browser. This ensures a consistent, seamless experience everywhere on the device. Basically, no matter what you are doing, the interface feels buttery smooth all the time. So here huge thanks to OnePlus for adding this new animation engine even on OnePlus 11R. Now let's talk about the OG OxygenOS feature what they have added. And first one is in the calculator application. So whenever you type OnePlus equals, you'll see the Easter egg of never settle. This is one thing what they have added. After that, if you go to settings under colors and here we have a new option called two tone. Basically, this gives a vibe of OG Oxygen OS, I think on 11 it was there, the black and white theme combination. So soon you enable this two-tone option, the entire settings page or the UI adapts to the black and white theme. Here you can see in the settings page and if you swipe the control center, there also we do have the similar theme. After that, we also have the support of new charging animation and this is how it looks whenever you connect a device to charger. Now let's talk about some UI changes what they have done. So one of the major change what you'll see and that's in the control center. So here we have the new control center which is a split control center. If you swipe from the right top side, you can open up the control center and if you swipe from the left top side, you can open up the notification panel. But don't worry, OnePlus have also given the option to use the classic one. So if you open the control center, tap on these three dots, go to customize quick settings and here you can see we have a classic option and the second one is split option. So depending on what you like to use, you can use any one of them. We also have the gesture support. For example, if I swipe right, I can access the notification panel. Swiping left, I can access the control center. We can also customize the quick setting tiles, but there's no option to resize the quick setting tiles, how we get to see on iOS and nothing OS 3.0. They have also added two new icon pack. One is radiance and this is how it looks. And the second one is shadow, which gives you the black background for every application. I personally like the radiance one because if I apply this, most of the stock application, I mean the OnePlus stock applications, gets new icon pack. For example, you can see camera application, calculator, and also applications like weather, settings, photos, recorder. And I've seen many users asking about the five columns in the app drawer. By default, you can see we get to see four columns, but OnePlus have given this option. So for example, if you long press on the home screen, go to more, and here under home screen mode, you have a new option called drawer layout. From here, you can choose five columns. Once you tap, now you have access to five applications in a single row. Also, even on OnePlus 11R, we have got the support of live photos. So here you can see we have an icon towards the right top corner, which is of live photos. And if you capture any live photo, for example, I'll capture this photo and the live photo is of three seconds, which can be seen just by long pressing on that particular photo. We have the new volume slider. So for example, if you tap for the first time, the normal volume slider pops up, but soon you tap for the second time, you have a thinner line of volume panel and which is very less distractive while watching content. OnePlus have also increased the support of live capsule, but currently on this device, which is OnePlus 11R and 11, we don't have the live capsule support for the things like charging and even for the torch. This thing is only present on OnePlus 12, but other than that, you have the support of live capsule for applications like Swiggy, Zomato, and some system services, including music player, personal hotspot, screen recording. And you can have support of multiple applications here in the live capsule. And you can see the transition or animation, which is very smooth even on OnePlus 11R. We also have the upgraded version of split screen. So for example, if you are inside any of the application, and if you swipe up the application, you can see two options on the top side. Towards the left hand side, we have the splits view, Towards the right hand side, we have the floating view. So depending on how you want to open that particular app, you can do that. Either splits view or the floating windows. And when it comes to notifications, so whenever you get any message, you can just tap on that particular notification and drag that application towards the bottom side to open it in pop-up view. So let me show you again. So here I get the message. Now I drag the application towards the bottom side. You get this new pop-up which says try all new way of Windows control. I recommend gesture one and you can see this is how it appears whenever you drag on any of the notification. The application will open up in floating windows and later on you can resize that particular application. OnePlus have also upgraded the hide application feature which now also lets you change the application of hide app folder. We do have some presets available and you can also change the name of that particular application and give it a fake name so that other people doesn't get to know that this folder consists of hidden applications. Private safe also got upgraded. Now you have a different sections for image and videos, audio, document and other files. And you also have the option of recently deleted. With OnePlus Share, now you can also share the files with iPhone, I mean the larger files, which also includes sharing of live photos. You just have to install the O Plus Connect on iPhones and you can easily share larger files faster now. 
and OnePlus have also added some features of Android 15 and those are layer to privacy. So for example, if you want to change the screen of time, whenever you increase the time, the device will ask you to authenticate. Until you authenticate your device, you won't be able to make changes in the screen of time. After that, same thing have been added. For example, if you connect your device to PC and if you change the USB preferences, for example, if I select file transfer, you can see again, it will ask for authentication. So these are stock Android 15 features which have been added by OnePlus. Another UI changes are done in the settings page wherein we have proper segregation of the settings and a completely redesigned about section. I'll do a detailed comparison between OxygenOS 14 and OxygenOS 15 but meanwhile what all videos you want on OnePlus 11 are let me know in the comment section below because once I complete the videos I'll be selling this device. So guys this was all about OxygenOS 15 for OnePlus 11 R. If you guys have any kind of questions drop them in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.